This morning across Louisiana, the shock of a devastating hurricane slowly being replaced with a grim reality. We didn't realize it was going to be this bad. We just, it just got so fast. It was, it grew so fast. Clara Burcham survived Hurricane Laura's brutal winds inside her Lake Charles home, but couldn't leave once the storm passed. Trapped by debris until the National Guard rolled in, offering much needed food and water. Thank you. You guys are a godsend. The Burcham's one family of thousands now facing a complicated cleanup. When Laura's nearly 150 mile an hour winds rolled through and not only knocked out power, but took out nearly half of Lake Charles water treatment plants. Some serious stuff here. 30 miles south, the town of Cameron left reeling. The coastal town where Laura first made landfall now reduced to crumbling homes and flooded streets. It's a war zone, it really is. Miraculously, no serious injuries have been reported, but Laura's impact has grown even more deadly after a carbon monoxide leak in a Lake Charles home. Five people in a house, they had a generator in an attached garage. The door was open or at least partially open and um, they're not with us anymore. In Texas, three more deaths to carbon monoxide after fishermen sheltered inside this building. The tragedies in both states showing the true toll of a hurricane that took almost everything but the spirit of those who live here. You know, we have a great community. They're going to fix this and they're going to they're going to rebuild. And the early damage totals are starting to come in. Hurricane Laura expected to bring anywhere from 12 to 20 billion dollars in losses, a significant number. Uh, but consider that back in 2005, Hurricane Katrina estimated up to 60 billion dollars in damages. We'll send it back to you guys. Yeah, community that has already been through so much. Morgan Chesky in Lake Charles. Thank you, Morgan. And Dylan is joining us now with a first look at the weekend's forecast, including what's left of Laura now heading toward the East Coast. Dylan, good morning to you. Good morning, guys. And yes, we are going to see uh, the remnants of Laura exit off the mid-Atlantic coast, staying just to the south of uh, New York City. But down in D.C., we should see uh, some of that heavier rain. Now, we've got two things going on. We've got the remnants of Laura. That's keeping a lot of moisture in the air. So we're seeing a lot of uh, scattered showers and heavier downpours. But we also have a cold front that's going to trigger more storms from New York to Pennsylvania, up into Vermont, New Hampshire, and most of New England, too. So the whole Northeast is going to see scattered showers and storms today. Tomorrow, it clears out in the northeast, but it gets unsettled again back through Kentucky into Tennessee, into Arkansas and parts of southern Missouri, where we could end up with uh, upwards of four inches of rainfall. In the northeast, with those storms that we're going to see, we could end up with about one to two inches of rain. So it's going to be very unsettled starting off the weekend, and we could see some severe storms uh, as well develop later on today with damaging wind gusts up to around 60 miles per hour or more, large hail, and also isolated tornadoes can't be ruled out today.